Hey, hey, I'm back with another video finally, right? It's time for the July newsletter and this month we are talking about breaking up with the scale and why it is simply no good for you and me. Okay, so a few of the reasons why I personally broke up with the scale, right? For one, it was a vibe killer. Like I could have been feeling really good about myself. Um, I could be having a great day, loving the way my clothes fit, loving the way my clothes look. And then I would weigh myself and determine that um, because the scale maybe didn't say exactly what I wanted it to say. I somehow wasn't doing good enough or wasn't doing enough. It would totally negate, ooh, my gaslight just came on. We're gonna have to do this with no AC. Um, it would somehow negate all of the feelings that I literally would have had less than a minute ago. When I looked at myself and felt good about myself, I would weigh myself and be like, dang, but I wish the scale said something else. Like I wish the number was a little bit lower, right? Um, and I really didn't like the way that that felt, so I stopped weighing myself. Now, of course, um, that's not to say that I still don't track progress in some ways. Like, I definitely love measuring myself, so I'll use a regular tape measure to, like, measure my waist. Um, but for the most part, I've been going off of how I feel and what I look like in my clothes. When my clothes start to fit too tight... Then I'm like, oh, okay, girl. But even then, I try to assess what that tightness is coming from. Like, have I put on too much muscle? Have I, in fact, gained fat? Um, and based on which way I'm falling, um, then I'll determine, okay, well, maybe you should weigh yourself and see where you are. Let's create a plan or let's, like, buckle down on some of these habits we know we should be practicing and go from there and then I probably won't weigh myself again for like months after that and when I mean months I mean months um I'm definitely not a daily or even weekly or even monthly um scale girl I think that if people could get into the habit of falling more in love with the process of what you're supposed to be doing on your journey to reach your goal instead of being so in love with like the metrics of it you'll find that the journey is more enjoyable um and you'll find that at the end of the day it really is about what you feel like i mean because when we're walking around in our cute little outfits no one knows how much you weigh you know what i'm saying it's not like people can see your weight like on the back of your shirt or your dress or whatever like no one knows how much you weigh but if you look good you look good if you feel good about yourself you look good and people can see that um you know this also ties into no one knows what size you wear right so people always talking about being a certain size and i'm not saying that you shouldn't have a numerical goal but i'm saying when you feel good about yourself and you feel good about the things that you're doing and you know you're taking really good care of yourself, that to me shows a lot more because that that gives you a certain level of confidence when you know like I'm drinking all my water, I'm working out, I'm eating well. Like it will make you stand up taller and you are more confident when you're practicing those really good habits. Um, and... If you happen to be your goal size, I think that's great. But if you're not, I always remind myself that no one can even see like the size of my clothes. But as long as I feel good about myself and I'm rocking whatever I wear, that's what's most important, right? So if you are a person that finds that you're weighing yourself all the time and if it's bringing you down or impeding your process, I would encourage you to break up with the scale, maybe start using a tape measure to track your results um because to me it's better to see inches lost anyway than to see 
a number on a square because the number on the square I mean a lot goes into that number so I would say track yourself with the tape measure definitely track yourself based on what you um, feel like in your clothes so if your clothes feel good if you feel good when you look at yourself that to me holds way more value than what you weigh um, also don't forget about the skill sets that you can progress towards on your journey and I think um, being able to run when you couldn't run before being able to walk a lot longer or faster when you couldn't do that before jumping higher um, lifting more weight being able to hold a plank a lot longer um, start attaching actual skills to your goals and if you do that you'll feel that sense of achievement um, in a new way and it'll allow you to maybe not look for that same um, achievement on a scale because you'll be focused on something else like you'll be focused on can I hold this plank for 60 seconds can I do 100 sit-ups in X amount of time can I jump rope for X amount of time without um, stopping can I run you know a mile can I break my walk time by 30 seconds? You know what I'm saying? Give yourself other ways to track your progress that don't necessarily put all of the power on the scale. And I think you'll find that you'll just have a completely different experience um, than the one you may be having right now. Um, because it's certainly no fun to feel like you worked out and ate right all week. You step on the scale and you either didn't lose any weight or you only lost a pound, or God forbid, you gained two pounds, right? And that is a huge obstacle for most people mentally to overcome. When they don't see the scale moving one way or the other, it will literally stop some people from um, continuing on in their process because they'll feel like whatever they're doing isn't working. And it's not that it's not working. It's just that some internal changes could be taking place um, because I think we've talked about this before, but... Um, when you start practicing those healthier habits, your body is like, oh my gosh, what is she doing, right? She's doing all these new things. She's eating all these new things. Your body has to figure out what it is you're asking it to do. Um, and then it kind of activates itself. And if you stay with it long enough, you will start to see results. I like to think of it in the same way that I think of online shopping. When you first place that order, they don't init they don't immediately like send you your stuff. You like you can't track your package and get those results as soon as you hit the submit order button, right? They put your order in the processing stage where they're fulfilling your order. And it's the same way with your body. When you start practicing healthier habits, your body is in the processing phase. It is trying to fulfill whatever it is that you're asking of it. And if you stick with it long enough, if you wait long enough and you keep practicing those um really healthy habits, eventually you will get the results that you seek. But what we do know, for one thing, is if you quit, you won't see nothing, girl. Nothing. So you have to stick with it. Stay encouraged. Don't let the scale be your only motivator. Find some other ways to track your success. Look to reach certain goals. Um, and if you ever need help with any of that, feel free to message me um, because that is what I'm here for. Um, I hope this was helpful with encouraging everybody to step away from the scale and into another way of tracking their success because it has certainly helped me out a lot to become a person that just doesn't weigh themselves. Um, it has helped me out a lot. It has freed me in a lot of ways. So hopefully you found this helpful. Happy July. Hope you enjoy the newsletter. If you are not receiving the newsletter, but you happen to stumble across this video, go to my website, subscribe to the newsletter. It comes out once a month and it's filled with positive vibes, things that you'll enjoy. It's really good and it only comes out once a month. So girl, I'm not spamming your inbox, right? Um, I hope you have a great day. As you can see, I'm at my favorite place, Club Kroger. Go in here and get some stuff and make it do what it do on this fabulous Taco Tuesday. Have a great day.